If you don't do anything else, focus on lighting because this will have the best bang for buck on making you look great on video. Now, lighting has a lot of different elements for us to go into, but we're gonna keep it simple in this video. The most common mistake that I see on webcam videos or people just getting started doing online meetings is they have too much backlight. So if you're here and you got a window behind you, you gotta be careful that this window as much as possible is not in your video frame because usually what will happen is that will start making you look a little bit like Darth Vader. You can't really see your facial expressions and it's not very interactive. So just rotate the camera or change the scene so that you are more brightly lit up than the background behind you. An easy way to do that is to get a foldable light like this. And it works great, especially if you're calling in from your desk phone and you wanna make sure that your laptop's behind you and you can set this up. Now, the angle of the light, the best practice, is to keep it about 45 degrees because this makes the appropriate shades on your face. But if you have something like this and it's underlit, it's like you're telling a ghost story and that can be a little bit scary. So the locations of lighting is the next thing to look into. Now, if you're looking to splurge a little bit, you can start with a pretty simple photography package. And this will work great if you know you're gonna be doing a lot of online meetings. You can get lights with umbrellas and it can come on the side. And that's what I have here. I got one light over there, one light over there, and one directly over me. And so that way I can have an even blend based on the location of the lighting and what I want the background to look like. And this is a great way for you to get started if you're looking to go to that next level.